All right, Michael Snyder, economiccollapseblog.com. Great brain. Uh, thanks for sharing your time with us today. Just take five minutes. You've got the floor to, to, to relay what your biggest concerns are and see if you concur with Pachenik. Yeah, Alex, what we have just witnessed is a critical moment in American history when Donald Trump learned that the government had been listening to his conversations, wiretapping him, and he got extremely upset about it. That was an extremely good thing, because now what Donald Trump can do is he can start asking questions. And if he starts asking questions, what he's going to find out is, is that the NSA is tapping directly into the central servers of every major technology company. I'm talking about Google, I'm talking about Facebook, Apple, et cetera, et cetera. It's all declassified. It's all declassified. It's all been documented. It's also been documented that the NSA has secret electronic monitoring rooms in every U.S. telecom company right. where they tap directly into that the came out eight years ago out of uh, San Francisco at uh, AT&T. Yeah, but that was just one example. It's about, you know, at one point it was 20 around the nation. It's probably much more than that now. But all that information from the telecom companies, from the Internet, is fed back to a giant data center out in Utah. They, they built it just Let's a be couple clear. of years It's ago. so huge, it parallels the size of the regular telecom. That's how big it is because everything's passed through it. Yeah, it's got a million square feet of storage space there. It costs $2 billion dollars to build. It takes $40 million a year just for the energy bill to keep that place running, and it can store You're five about Utah. zettabytes of information. Now, what's a zettabyte? Uh, one zettabyte of information, to, that amount of storage space would require a stack of iPhones from here to the moon. That's just <laughs> So when you're talking about five zettabytes of information, you're talking about amount of information that's absolutely incomprehensible. So what's stored there? Basically, people have to assume that all of their phone calls, everything that they do on the Internet, all the embarrassing selfies that they take, whatever, the, whatever goes through the pipes, the government grabs and then they keep and they store away. Now, they don't have enough people to sit there and listen to them all. But what they do, they grab it, they store it, then if they need it, they call it up. So if they're targeting a specific organization... And let's not forget, they can plant things on it. That's in the WikiLeaks and the newest Vault 7 is they were in there trying to frame Trump. That's what they've been caught in is with fake servers trying to say it was him. Yeah, and also in this new data dump, it's come out that they can uh, spoof uh, attacks from other nations. Like they can do a false flag cyber from attack Russia. make it look like the Russians did it. That's what I kept saying. They claim this stuff's coming from Russia because you have Russian malware. I can get that and do that. Yeah, absolutely. And so and in this, this new revelation, we learned that the CIA can use, it can tap into just about any device, even use Samsung televisions and use them as a microphone. So you're sitting in there in your home and you're just watching television and the government can literally be listening to your conversations. And so, and the same thing is true with cell phones where it's been documented that the NSA, the CIA, they have the capability of listening to you through your cell phone. Even if you think it's turned off, they can spoof it where it's still actually on they can use it as a microphone to listen to your conversation which we told people 20 years ago now it's all over so what happens as all this comes out what happens to our credibility well our credibility goes way up because we've been warning about this forever we've been writing about i've been writing about these things for years you've been warning about these things for well over a decade and so people are saying hey they were actually right about these things but donald this is why donald trump and his team need to be so so very careful because literally wherever they go whatever they're doing the spooks could be listening, whether it's through a cell phone, whether it's through a television, any electronic device. And, you know, how are we going to get away from all electronic devices? Some people... Uh, listen, I mean, just as a point of privacy, you know, if I'm going to have time with my wife, I go put the phone in the other room just because, I mean, I know they do it. I've been there before when the damn thing turns on. People are typing on my phone, calling people and stuff. I mean, I, I don't ever talk about that on air, but I've experienced it a decade ago where your phone boots up, people are typing, they're calling people. Yeah, even CB, uh, former CBS reporter Cheryl Atkinson, her computers would come on in the middle of the night and the government would hack into them and, and she got computer experts to come in and they actually planted classified documents on her computer yes. so they could have something to frame her they with. They tried the same thing with uh, Drake and others, but he got warned by people inside the agency saying they're doing this. So that's the good news is there's people inside these boardrooms like, let's shut up William Benny and Thomas Drake. Let's go plant stuff on their computer and put them in prison. People are like, then they, they literally put it in their mailbox and warn them, hey, they're coming with a SWAT team. I mean, it's just, man, evil. 
Yeah, and so this is so critical because now Trump is in a position to do something about it. For so long, we've known about this. We've been screaming about this, but nothing has been done. But now Trump... Well, I don't say this to be do? vindictive, but this is... Uh, some of these people need to get tried. They need to be put in prison. Some of this is punishable by death. I mean, we need some public hangings. I don't say that meanly. I don't want to kill anybody. I want due process. But, I mean, people need to get hung over this. So folks are scared to do this again. Yeah, and it's not just about going after the individuals, but it's about taking away one of the most powerful weapons of the New World Order, and it's this surveillance. It's this monitoring people. It's this information gathering. If you take that completely away from them, then they're greatly disarmed. So the key thing is to end the surveillance. Now, if Trump goes through this... Yeah, if it's a foreign done, power, a person of interest, spy the hell out of them. But here's another thing. Build all these kill switches into everything where they can take over planes, hackers can do it now. They've left everybody wide open, all these other governments, power plants, reactors, because they built this in. And of course, they've caught the Chinese who make most of our chips. They're putting them in ours. I mean, this is freaking nuts, man. And then the NSA yeah. doesn't want to talk about it because, oh, they'll know about our back doors if we know about the Chinese back doors. How about death penalty for putting back doors in people's stuff? Yeah, it, people don't understand what's going on out there. You know, it, it, when and when we hear about someone dying in a car crash, well, did they die in a car crash or did the government cause it to happen? When a plane crashes, well, you know, and 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 Donald Trump's plane almost crashed, you know, a couple times there. They, they had Putin's driver couple. just died, like 20-something top Russians just died? Oh, it's, yeah, it's... And, and so this is the kind of stuff that our government is doing. Our government has behaved very, very badly. So Donald Trump needs to put an end to that. He can't just get upset, but action needs to be taken. We need to stop the surveillance. We need to stop the assassinations. We need to stop... No, I agree, the, but let me the, ask you this. What do you think is going to happen when the establishment doesn't back off and keeps going? Because I was told a long time ago, they get ready for this, that they're going to bring down the real data next. They're going to arrest the whole pedophile ring. They've already rolled up the procurers. I mean, they're ready... People say, well, go ahead and do it. It'll hurt the country so bad. We kind of, I mean, I, 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 they need to be arrested, but my God, this is crazy. What do you think? Yeah, well, what we're seeing is an escalation on both sides, and eventually it could go nuclear on both sides. And, oh, and I think they'll could... try to nuke Trump. They're scum. They think they're invincible. Trash always thinks it's invincible. Yeah, and so they, they, they're they going to go to whatever level they need to do to take down Trump, and then now Trump and his side could keep escalating things against the deep state, which they need to do. But literally, we are in a civil war. We're in a struggle for— Yeah, by the way, that's not rhetoric. I keep telling people, this is not rhetoric. No, it's not rhetoric at all, because the, 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 the deep state, the globalists, they're not going to roll over and play dead and give up. They're going to fight for, for their lives, because they, they know they're in oh, a, the biggest struggle they've, they've faced yet. And, and, and so uh, the, the people need to understand, just because Trump's president, it's not over. But it, it's Oh, the game's only begun. It. And it's a game for our entire family future. Michael, let me ask you this in closing. I, I've got to say, I've, I've been ashamed of the stuff that happens in America. I've gotten upset at some of my fellow country people. But I'm really actually proud right now to realize what's been going on the last few decades. And always have known this, but I, I've personally been humble about it because I've been mission-oriented. But I'm telling you, this, uh, this is history. This is so incredible what's happening, so complex, so big. And we really are getting the upper hand. We're having big victories. And it just really makes me proud to be an American. I've always been proud of our history. I'm so proud of our country. I love my fellow country people, no matter what color they are, where they came from. People that love liberty, I love them. And it makes me so proud right now to see that the country's coming back. And it makes me only want to work harder to make sure we succeed against these people. Yeah, it, it, the second American Civil War has already started. Now, it's not involving shooting or, or yet or that much violence, although we've seen the riots and protests, and they're going I believe they're going to get a lot worse. But it's a struggle between two ideologies, the ideology of the globalist and the ideology of freedom and liberty and the values of our founding fathers. And one of those ideologies is eventually going to win and vanquish the others. And up until now, the globalists, they've had control of the entertainment system, the, the news, the education system, the political system, most of our politicians. But now with Trump, we're seeing an uprising. Now, the battle's not won. It could go either way, or there's a third alternative where we destroy each other and bring the nation down in the process. So the, the, it's... Well, that's the, the, better than the, the globalists and all the anti-family pro-death people. That'd be better the country bring down and then be run. Because the, them in control is humanity being brought down. That's more important than the country. Oh, it's true. 
And so people need to realize this civil war is going to take time to play out, and it's not clear which side is going to uh, ultimately uh, reign victorious. And that's why the maximum effort now of every man, woman, and child is critical. At maximum effort, more than ever before. And now Donald Trump has given us a beachhead, a foothold in the political realm to start making major changes. But we've got to actually make those changes. we got to keep Trump in office. That's why they're trying so hard to topple him, because they know they're in danger. And so it's the struggle, it's the fight of our lives, and people have got to put That's right. more The fight for America and the future of humanity is happening now, folks. It's really happening. That's not hype. It's beyond any hype I have. This is it. Be involved. Pray. Be politically involved. Call and talk radio C-SPAN. Support broadcasts like this. Uh, call Congress. Just whatever. Get aggressive because the enemy media is not going to tell you what's happening. Michael Snyder, thank you so much for your great work. Thank you.